I'm going to talk about traffic. Because we had traffic today on the, on the 101. But let's remember this. When I ran, when I did all of those forums in the San Fernando Valley, in the south side and the east side, I said this. All the candidates were saying, you know, we'll stop construction during the rush hour. We'll put traffic officers at the worst intersections. We'll do, um, we'll, we'll double the number of left-hand turn signals and we'll double the number of potholes in the city of Los Angeles. I mean, double the number of potholes where you repair. Now, you know what I would say? And they would all get phenomenal applause because people, people love stop construction during the rush hour. They love, you know, double the number of, pot, uh, of repairing potholes. I said to everybody, folks, we got to invest in public transit. Almost nobody would clap back then. Almost nobody would clap. I said, we've got we've to be smart about how we create transit villages around public transportation projects. We've got, we've got to engage in smart growth. Everybody's eyes would, would glaze over. Well, fast track. We stopped construction during the rush hour in the first 100 days. We put traffic officers at the 75 worst intersections throughout Los Angeles. We didn't double the number of left-hand turn signals. We're doing four times the number of left-hand turn signals than my pre predecessor. We didn't double the number of potholes. We're doing three and a half times the number of potholes. We did more than a million in three and a half years. They did 297,000 on average. So we did those small things, but we did a big thing this year, and you helped here in the San Fernando Valley. We passed Measure R. Half penny sales tax, passed it in the middle of a recession, the biggest investment of any city in the country for public transit, transit uh, for highway repair and signal synchronization. It is without question the most important effort that we can do to really impact traffic in the city of LA. So I don't wanna go on and on. I hope that what we've been able to do is bring people together to get the big things done. Now, we're not finished yet, and that's why I'm running for re-election. We still got a lot of work to do. But you know what I'm proud of? I've said this a lot about San Fernando Valley. San Fernando Valley is the most diverse section of the city of Los Angeles. There is no area as diverse, and I'm talking about all the groups that this is where the world comes together in Los Angeles? Well, they come together in the San Fernando Valley. And let me tell you something. It, this part of the city uh, has been so supportive of these efforts. And I think if there's something we've been able to do is we've been able to bring people together of every race and ethnicity. Everybody's welcome in our LA. And we've been able to do it to get things done. So. I want to thank you for coming. I'm not going to go on anymore. I know you've all been waiting a long time. I just want to say this. Whether we win or lose, I want as many people to vote as possible. Now, a lot of people said, well, you know, uh, oh, Mayor, uh, your numbers are pretty high, and they're, you know, a lot of these folks aren't uh, well-known, and you, know, you shouldn't do a campaign. Uh-uh. I think it's important that people know there's an election. Some people may come out because they want to get rid of that guy at City Hall. Others may come out because they think we're on the right track. The estimates are that 10% of the city is going to vote. Just 10%. And I can tell you uh, that that scares me. Because no, th this, no, no one should be for such a small turnout. The fact of the matter is people don't think there's a race. Uh, so it's gonna, there's going to be a small turnout, and we're going to change that. We want to knock on doors. We want to call voters. And we, you know, obviously, I want you to ask them to support my candidacy and support the candidacy of Jack Rice and all of the other folks who are on the ballot. Wendy Gruel, who supports his candidacy. We support her for city uh, controller.
whatever they do, they got to go out and vote. We just made history with the, with the election of Barack Obama as the President of the United States. What a great country we live in. And if we learned anything, and particularly the young people that are here today, we learned that you're important because this is about the future. And so to all the young people here, thank you for coming. Let's get people out to vote. Let's knock on our doors. I want to thank Agi as well for being here and supporting us and all the folks who are here with us today. And again, thanks to all of you. And what we hope is that we're going to have a big therm thermometer. And the thermometer is going to say who's volunteered the most, who's called the most voters, who's contacted the most people in, in the next couple of weeks. Uh, that, I think, will get us to where we want to be, where as many people as possible know there's an election and uh, there are choices. I hope and I would be honored uh, if I could be your and their choice. Thank you so much. Yeah.